Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you quick start guide on setting up VS Code for Qt application cross-compiling. First, create a project using Qt Creator. It's highly recommended to use Qt Creator 11. If you're using Qt version higher than 11, uh, the built-in remote debugging will not work and the application will just crash. Uh, the only way to get it uh, get it work to is to using um, GDP server and uh, you then attach your application to that and uh, I think it's not very convenient. And then just uh, you just enable the X11 forwarding and uh, deploy a SSH uh, certificate for Ubuntu. Just uh, the settings are located here. Um, modify this file and uh, add forward X11, yes, to the front. Uh, then use SSH copy ID to deploy your SSH certificate to the Raspberry Pi. And then open the project. Uh, and install the CMake tools and the Qt extension. Um, Cross compiling is not officially supported by Qt extension. Uh, the reason we install this is because we is we want to use the QML syntax highlighting. And uh, however, you you can't debug uh, QML here. It's not officially supported yet. And then uh, go to CMake tools and. Uh, Let's say select a kit uh, and uh, select the, the cross compilers. If your cross compilers is not listed here, uh, you should uh, scan recursively for kits and then specify the folder where you put your cross compilers. And then uh, Let's create three files. Then modify uh, CMake list dot text. Uh, add two chain settings before the project. Okay, here. The tool chain file is coming from my another video tutorials. If you don't know what it is, uh, just refer to another my another video detail tutorials on uh, cross compiling Qt. Uh, I will put that link in the video detail. And then we need to update settings. Uh, all these files are well designed. You don't need to need to modify these. The only thing you need is to modify the settings. First, let's copy the binary names. Okay, then uh, this is a target device. These are files that will be copied to the device. Uh, actually, th these files are not actually needed. 
this is just demonstration to for how to um, copy multiple files to the device. This is a command line argument. This is a working directory of the application, and uh, this is also the tag as a folder you want to copy the files to. And uh, this is a target uh, library folder. This is GDP server port. This is a uh, sys root. If you don't know what it what it is what what they are, and you just uh, refer to my another video tutorials. And then we will try to reconfigure. And then we will try to run. Yeah, it looked good. And uh, you can run the binary without building. This will save you some time. And uh, you can also debug. Yeah, it worked. And you can also debug without building. This will also save you some time when you developing. Okay. So this is it. This is the end of video. If you think my video is helpful, please subscribe my channel. See me. See you in my next video.